I'm Dr. Fizzbop. Have you ever wondered how Noah built the Ark? The Ark was a marvelous feat of engineering at a time when something of such enormous size might have been unimaginable, especially considering the tools available and the small number of people working on the project. Today, we're going to build our very own popsicle stick boat. We'll be constructing a basic raft here, but in the video description below, there's a link to instructions for making other variations. If you've done all three, then when you have an adult with you, you can see which version works best on open water, like a pond or pool, and which best works for a moving for moving water, like a stream. Let's get going. Today at Fizzlebop Labs, I'm assisted by Kinley and Declan. First, a warning. This experiment requires scissors, so safety first. And like many of our experiments, it could be a little messy. So make sure to protect the area where you're working. You ready to begin? Then let's get started. First, the Fizzlebop supply list. We need 12 jumbo craft sticks per boat. We need one standard craft stick per boat. We'll need some glue. We'll need paper for the sale for each craft boat. We'll need some crayons and we'll need a scissors. We'll wait right here while you gather your supplies. Okay, now that we have gathered our supplies, let's get to the experiment. First, we need to lay seven jumbo craft sticks flat and side by side. Now, we'll remove the second, fourth, and sixth jumbo craft sticks from the row. And we're going to set them aside for the moment. Fantastic! Okay, let's squeeze a line of glue down the length of each remaining jumbo craft stick. Next, we're going to build half of the boat's deck. Starting at one side, we need to place four jumbo craft sticks perpendicularly across the jumbo craft sticks with glue. These craft sticks should be close together with no gaps. Perpendicularly means the opposite of the way our other sticks are going. Now, we'll take the standard craft stick, which is going to be the mast of our boat, and stand it up vertically with the flat side against the deck sticks. This will give us a thin space between the next four jumbo craft sticks, which are the other half of our boat's deck. This might be a great time to get a partner and work together. Now, while holding the standard craft stick in place, we need to lay four more jumbo craft sticks tightly together to complete the deck of our boat.
Okay, now that we've got a tight deck, let's set our standard craft stick to the side for one moment. It's time to create our sail by cutting our paper into a triangle or square and coloring it with designs and our initials or even our favorite numbers. Remember to pay attention to this fizz tip. Match the cutout sail up to the boat to make sure it's not too big. All right, let's go. What shape do you want, Declan? Rectangle. A rectangle? Fizz-tastic! Let's squeeze some glue on the top half of our standard craft stick and attach the sail to the center. Here's another important fizz tip. Let the glue attaching the sail to the standard craft stick mask completely dry before attaching the mask to the boat. Great tip! Now, we'll squeeze a bit of glue on the lower tip of our standard craft stick, the boat's mast, and insert the stick into the space between the two halves of the boat's deck. This should be a very tight fit. Now, it's time to make sure you have an adult with you because this is when we're going to test the boat. We're going to sail our boat and observe. Now, while you can do this in a pond, a lake, a stream, a river, we're going to do it a little more simply right here in our lab. We've got a large bowl of water. And you can use your own large bowl of water, your kitchen sink, or even the bathtub. But it's important to get an adult to help you with this part. Are you guys ready to test our boats? You ready to test, Declan? Okay, Declan, let's put in Declan's boat first. Very carefully, we're going to set it into our boat. Declan, your boat floats. All right, Kinley, do you want to add your boat to the ocean too? Fantastic! Marvelous! Our rafts work. I hope when you're done, you'll snap a picture of your boats floating and post them online so we can see the results of your marvelous experiment. Tag us at Fizzabop Labs and use hashtag Fizzabop. Here's a fizz fact for you. I hope it didn't take you as long to build your boat as it did Noah. <laughs> it took Noah between 55 and 75 years to build the ark. 55 and 75 years? At the time the ark went off on its journey, Noah was 600 years old. Now that's stupendous. 600 years old? Wow. Declan and I are so excited because bedtime on Noah's Ark is here! Yay! Yay! And we're gonna take a minute here to show you our favorite scene in the book because it's what inspired it all, brushing teeth on Noah's Ark. Are you ready, Declan? Let's do this, okay. So, we gotta get our toothbrush. And 
First up, tiger teeth. How do we brush those tiger teeth? Look at those tiger teeth. They're good. Yes. And now, hippo. Oh, nice and wide. Nice wide hippo teeth there. Wider. Can you go wider for the hippo? Whoa, that is quite the hippo teeth. And lastly, what do we do? Our giraffe tongue. Hey, there it is. Get it nice and clean. Are you good? All right, that is how you do brushing teeth on Noah's Ark. It's time to collect our data. You can record it in your Fizzlebop Labs notebook. How well did your boat float? Good question. What would you do to change your boat's design? Hmm, interesting. Remember, we have two additional boat designs at the link in the description below. That's it. Enjoy your popsicle stick boat fleet. And I hope you'll share it with us by tagging at Fizzlebop Labs and using hashtag Fizzbop. Thanks for joining us here at Fizzbop Labs. I hope you had as fantastic time as we have. Join us here each week for a new experiment, and don't forget to subscribe.